Those who know Gary Streit all say he can get anything done because he's collaborative, he's authentic, and he knows how to treat people. That goes for his clients at the law firm, too. You know, I learned early on the way to set yourself apart, you know, is to treat your clients with respect. Treat them like, and mean it, that you care. I mean, that their problem is a big deal to them. You know, I might see it 20 times in a week. They're going to see it once in their life. And so, you know, to really convey that empathy, that understanding that, you know, what's bothering you is important, and we're going to get it done. Life lessons started at a young age, growing up in Northwest Iowa and doing a lot of chores on the farm. He always wanted to be a lawyer. He received an accounting degree from Iowa State. That's where he met his wife and lifelong mentor Susie during his senior year. They married and Gary started law school at Iowa 10 days later. And after graduating, Gary started at Shuttleworth and Ingersoll. I had the opportunity just because our partners were so great about letting young people interface with their clients from the beginning. You know, I, had a, I talked to a lot of clients. And there was a big change with federal legislation, and for job security, Gary was determined to learn all about it. So when I came out of law school, I knew I wanted to do business type of work. And so at Shuttleworth, um, they had a lot of clients. When I started, they had pension plans, profit sharing plans. And there was huge federal legislation passed in September of 1974 called ERISA. And it was just a massive overhaul of all pension laws. Gary says luck was on his side, and he got to work with some big clients. Dwayne Arnold opened and wound up in a fight with its uranium supplier. There was a big case involving state retirees and $30 million in refunds, and some big land preservation cases. There is so much history in the law firm, founded back in the 1850s. But many would say Gary's biggest milestone has been his years of service and his impact he's made with the American Cancer Society. I think he is so connected to the mission and the ability to really impact lives of people who he will never know. Uh, but he believes you know, so much in really trying to, to uh, uh, have an impact on this disease that I think there's just a direct connection there uh, between the mission and, and what we're trying to achieve and, and what's important to Gary. A Cancer Society volunteer for almost 40 years, he served as a chairman of the board for the National Cancer Society and many would say single-handedly built the roadmap to build AC's Cancer Action Network. He's the one that realized the right way for us to accelerate our advocacy, do more of it, uh, have an electoral program in particular, which our volunteers love, a nonpartisan electoral program. And, um, and, and, and the right way to do that was to create a, another company that was affiliated with the American Cancer Society um, and do it in a way that protects the tax status of the American Cancer Society, but also allows us to do more advocacy at the same time. That was Gary Streit's vision, and he's the one that showed us exactly the right way to do it. And from all that work, a dollar a pack cigarette tax, the Smoke Free Air Act, to name just a few initiatives, Gary says it's all worth it and speaks pretty frankly when talking about nonprofit work and what matters most. One of the great things about being involved in nonprofits, especially those that really touch people's lives, is that it gives you a sense of reality when you come back to the law firm. Gary is one of the most sincere, intelligent um, doers you will ever meet in your life. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't ask for a lot of adulation. He's, he's somewhat self-effacing. He is very talented. Uh, he gets a tremendous amount of things done. Frankly, uh, my organization and the American Cancer Society wouldn't be nearly the organizations they are today had it not been for the work that Gary did to help us. He is engaged in all aspects of an organization when he gets involved. He provides leadership, he provides work energy, and he gets things done. So, you know, an impactful leader in Cedar Rapids is Gary Strait. In his work at Shuttleworth, Gary makes sure service to community shines through. The, the culture at uh, Shuttleworth and Ingersoll has always been one where uh, participating and giving back has, has prevailed. Uh, it, 
in Gary Streit's case, I, I'm sure that uh, he would tell you, and he's very modest about this, but it has given him satisfaction to be able to be involved in community affairs, uh, both locally, state, and national, nationally. Gary's leadership, whether at work or in conjunction with nonprofit colleagues, is unwavering. He leads by example and has an impact on those he serves alongside. I learned from Gary the power of influence. Gary has a way of bringing people together and creating consensus around sometimes very difficult decisions that need to be made in the organization. And his way of approaching um, every challenge that he has faced as a volunteer and in the volunteer staff partnership, uh, he just has a way of hearing everyone out, making sure everyone feels their voice is heard, but yet he is resolved in getting to the right decision. So he's really dropped a lot of pearls of wisdom to me along the way about leadership and how to be an influential leader. In his free time, Gary loves traveling and spending time with his daughters, Elizabeth and Corey, and their families, especially the grandchildren. He also enjoys woodworking and meeting with the old goats for breakfast at Mercy each Tuesday. But much of what he really loves is tied back to his amazing career. I enjoy being out in public representing Shuttleworth. I mean, I, that's probably one of the most gratifying things I do. I mean, I'm proud of my partners. I'm proud of what we stand for. I'm proud of the work we do. So, you know, to say that, you know, I'm the president of Shuttleworth and Ingersoll, I'm really speaking for all the lawyers and staff here saying, you know, these are great people. I'm just one of 80 some people. Gary, I think as a component of his personality, has to be involved in things. Uh, he, he would not be content to just come to work and do his job every day, but he sees needs in the community and uh, he's willing to step forward and to help meet those needs. Tonight, we are pleased to honor Gary Strait as a 2016 Junior Achievement Laureate.